the rest of the story. Maybe you never heard of Nugent Slaughter. I think after today you'll never forget him because he's on his way to the Academy Awards ceremony in Hollywood and the motion picture to which he contributed his special effects expertise cannot possibly win. Oh, you've seen plenty of special effects on the movie screen. If the script is initial FX, that's short for effects, then you have been thrilled, perhaps even frightened for the technical magic conjured up by the true scientists of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. But what special effects wizard Nugent Slaughter has accomplished this year, in one movie in particular, has scared too many people too much. So much, in fact, that his film has been officially if quietly disqualified by the Academy, declared ineligible to receive the Best Picture Award. But the preemptive rejection still seems incredible and unfair. And more remarkable still is the rest of the story. You know, the best actors are really reactors. They are convincing because of the genuineness with which they respond to circumstances and to others in the cast. Today, however, a motion picture actor is likely to find himself responding to nothing at all because components of the movie which audiences will eventually see may be added as computer-generated images after the actor has gone home. A reptilian behemoth lumbers down a Manhattan Boulevard crushing taxi cabs or sending them spiraling through the air, and the cast of the movie, stars and extras alike, must react. They must see and flee in terror. But the movie monster isn't there at all until special effects imagineers create him and include him. In fact, neither are the tumbling taxis nor most of the extras in the crowd, and so to an increasing extent these days are movie sets mere shells awaiting inhabitation by phantoms yet undreamed. But special effects specialist Nugent Slaughter, through his ambition to exceed anything that motion picture engineers have produced commercially thus far, has gone too far. What he has created is too frightening, it's too real. And so Academy executives have met and have decided that Mr. Slaughter's movie will not be permitted to win the Oscar for Best Picture. It'll not even be nominated for any of the top awards. And yet Nugent Slaughter, for all of his skill, for all of the controversy surrounding his accomplishment, has computer-generated no props, no monsters for his movie. He's made nobody's head spin spewing pea soup. For the people Mr. Slaughter once scared were not moviegoers, they were movie makers. His colleagues in the motion picture industry, they believed that what Mr. Slaughter had done had ended their era, and they were right. The movie to which he had added a then unique and astonishing special effect, it was no science fiction thriller, it was a... It was a musical drama starring Al Jolson. It was called The Jazz Singer. Excluded from the nominees for Best Picture for the Academy Awards Ceremony, the first ever Academy Awards Ceremony in May of 1929. Because of a special effect that worried all of its competitors, even threatened them with extinction, what he had incorporated was something called sound. His was the industry's first ever talking picture. Now you know the rest of the story.